Lord of Chaos here, with another one. Alright guys, Lord of Chaos here. Looks like we got some news from the team. And um, for you free-to-play players, it's going to be a very, very, very sad day for you today. Alright? So up here in the left corner, you'll see a bullhorn. You can only get this news on the uh, mobile app. You can't get this news on the uh, PC version desktop. So um, if you're just tuning in, make sure you watch this video if you haven't got the mobile app and you just play on PC. So if you hit the news button, you'll see the latest news is that they're bringing a new mermaid to the game so there'll be a new mermaid called helen and she'll be focused on cavalry she'll have an esoterica called dreamcatcher and that esoterica will allow you to do 30 percent more damage with your cavalry troops and allow you to reduce the incoming damage by 30 percent as well it's also going to allow you to greatly boost your cavalry attack, health and defense. And in order to get Helen, you'll obviously have to have Scarlet, Eudine and Alexia all up to level 50. And a one time purchase will be needed to be made in order for you to get Helen. So if you're a free to play player, this one isn't for you guys. Um, and if you're a low spender, you're going to have to go and get Alexia and then obviously purchase Helen as well. So I know you guys have been looking forward to Dark Ember and boy, oh boy, have I got some news to break to you. So Dark Ember is going to be made available and the price in order to get Dark Ember is your airship will need to be at level seven which is um, easy to do for a free to play player. All you need to do is get your airship uh, components up to a level 100 and you will have got your airship up to level seven. You'll need an Iron Kong of 192 million power. An Iron Kong of 192 million power. My Iron Kong is uh, level 73 had it since last year um relatively soon after well i got my iron kong not too long after they made it freely available and uh, my iron kong is roughly 47 million so 192 million i doubt there's going to be any free to play players with a iron kong of that power level in the game Maybe you Dolphins um, will have a um, Iron Kong at this level. But um, yeah, Dark Ember is not for you free to play player guys. And if you were lucky enough to have an Iron Kong at 192 million power, you would still need 6,000 Dragon Blood Crystals. That's 6,000 Dragon Blood Crystals. In other words, you would need to have stacked 300 war master chest oh boy so definitely for you pay to play players this is going to be great news for you guys you're going to have yourself a nice shiny new mermaid available to you and obviously if you wasn't able to get dark ember you'll also be able to uh, pick that up if you've got the necessary requirements met um if you're wondering what the War Master Chess is, it would be this chest. And obviously, you get 20 Dragon Blood Crystals inside of it. That would be the easiest way to get Dragon Blood Crystals, I believe. Because um, you can also get them in KVK. However, it's a really high um, tier reward. And you need over 100 million points. So it's absolutely ridiculous for most players to score that much on KVK. Unless you're in the Citadel and you're getting attacked a lot. But nowadays when it comes to KVK, you know, most of them are negotiated and no one's really attacking each other. So scoring that high is rather difficult in the first place. And it's not going to be something a lot of players are doing. Um, hopefully 
Stormshot is looking to add Dragon Crystals as rewards to War of Waters because as you already know Oracle Reefs is pretty much farming for um, upgrade materials for the Iron Kong and we've got slots down here where they can add some Dragon Crystals and they can turn the WoW event into a event where you can farm for Dragon Components so that would be great if these guys were smart that's the way they would do it in order to allow a lot more players to uh, level up their dragons i am not too mad about this one uh, due to the fact that i've already got dark ember i was one of the lucky free to play players to get in early on the uh, lord of tides and got it but leveling this thing is difficult like i've you know rarely leveled it up because these crystals they're just so hard to get a hold of and when i get war master chess i'm not really focused on dark ember um but that's the news guys i don't know what to say they really are pushing in a direction where a lot of the low spenders and free-to-play players are just not getting any of the goodies to be honest and um it, it's a crying shame I know a lot of people are going to feel disheartened by this latest news and um, you know a lot of players are leaving the game due to the fact that they're not really seeing a lot of light at the end of the tunnel so it is what it is guys uh, I'm just delivering the news anyway hope you have yourselves a great day remember to like comment and subscribe and that video on the heroes that I promised earlier on in, during the week, I'll get that out on the weekend, all right? And um, we'll be streaming our WoW match tomorrow at 20 UTC, so feel free to tune in if you can. All right, Lord of Chaos out. Bye. These guys are completely oblivious, so they're going to be doing a rotation of PvE events. So I hope you guys are prepared to see Tide Crisis again a fortnight from now. Oh boy, it's just uh, bad news after bad news when it comes to this game. This is exhausting, to be honest. If they want to buck up their ideas, they better increase the rewards. Otherwise, they really, really are going to turn off a lot of players to this game. That's all I got to say. ありがとうございます。